pay particular attention to this circuit board. Note its transistors and resistors. Note them down well. Do not use this circuit board. Welcome to Friendly Al's Computer Repair Shed with me, Friendly Al. This week's upgrade is brought to you by the number 9, This Thing, and by Irish freedom fighter and gay rights hero, Dr Ian Paisley. <coughs> this week we're going to be looking at this, your computer's CPU. Your computer's CPU is like its brain. Can you imagine living without a brain? Well, can you? Before we begin, I need to remind you that brands of computer vary greatly in quality. I, for example, choose to use the IBM because of that company's complicity in the Holocaust. First, we must prepare the CPU for installation. Bring it to the boil, simmer for 20 minutes, and then strain. Next, we need to drill ventilation holes through the CPU. If at any point during the process you receive a visitation by Our Lady of Fatima, do not be alarmed. Simply genuflect and proceed. The mother board is a tender lover. Treat her with respect. With foreplay complete, the mother board is now willing and ready to receive the CPU. Hold it above her. In order to complete the connection, we must use the correct tool. Sorted. If you go into your local B&Q or home base and purchase the wrong kind of saw for this task, you will look like a div. Oh, my God. 